In Los Angeles, sign waivers stand outside of stores, trying to lure customers inside. But these waivers aren't your typical minimum wage workers, they're robotic mannequins. Well, I got it because I was paying too much money, paying different people that were not doing the job. <laughs> they were moving the signs for just a minute or two, and then they said they're tired and they're charging me by the hour. She doesn't need, she doesn't take breaks. Manufacturers like Velocity Signs and SignWavingRobot.com say sales are strong for the curvy bots. But the switch to automation has upset human sign waivers like Roberto Galvez. If there's no workforce, there won't be jobs. And if there's no jobs, there's no money. Store owners also say vandals have been a problem. The sidewalk robots are an easy target. We have had issues. They ripped off her eyelashes. They took her earrings. We had a lady trying to steal her shoes, but we had to take away because we didn't. Well, shoes were expensive, so they messed with her hair a lot. Still, stores say mannequins are better than hiring human sign waivers, and most passersby seem to like them. One time only, I had to call the police because she threw her down in the street. She was drunk, though, so. But other than that, no, people like her and men like her more. <laughs>